Apple's new AI model outperforms ChatGPT4 in one of the most vital artificial intelligent benchmarks. Now, do you wanna find out what Apple's new AI model is all about and how it beats OpenAI's chatbot in various tests? Well, by the end of this video, you'll learn all about that and more. Plus, you'll find out how Apple just might come out on top of the AI race. Reference resolution is a vital AI technology for any future smartphone devices. It's also been vital for chatbots like ChatGPT and Claw.ai. They use reference resolution for almost every single prompt they receive. Without it, chatbots wouldn't exist as you currently know them. And all the current AI hype and excitement would have never happened. So what is reference resolution? Basically, it's a technology that figures out what pronouns like they, he, or she refer to in a sentence or a paragraph. Imagine that you need some info about the oldest pizza shop in the United States. You begin your research by heading over to Wikipedia to do the appropriate query. You find some good information, upload the contents of the wiki to ChatGPT, and start asking the chatbot questions about the Wikipedia article. You first ask the OpenAI chatbot something like, who is the current owner of the shop? ChatGPT scans the Wikipedia text, finds the answer and replies with the owner's name, John Brescia. You then ask a follow-up question. How long has he owned the pizza shop for? And this is where reference resolution comes in. ChatGPT has to figure out who he is within the prompt it's referring to. That is, how long has he owned the pizza shop for? Now humans can figure out who he refers to with common sense. You or I know that he refers to the owner, John Brescia, but AI needs reference resolution to do this. A technology that probabilistically determines what a pronoun refers to within uploaded text or within the prompts themselves. Your ordinary chatbots like Gemini, Llama, ChatGPT, and Claw.ai have been doing this since their inceptions. They know exactly what you're talking about if you enter words like they, she, he, or it. It's all done automatically behind the scenes with reference resolution. But there's one big problem for training LLMs for reference resolution on smartphones. Models like Gemini and Claw.ai aren't good at referencing on-screen data. On-screen data is basically any data that is shown to the end user on a physical screen. Think of any app that you use on your phone. That's the kind of on-screen data we're talking about here. For instance, if you enter a prompt or say into an iPhone, play me the second to last song I played three days ago on Spotify, the large language model would have a hard time understanding what the last song refers to. Not only that, but it's very expensive to train traditional LLMs with on-screen smartphone data. And even if money were no object and Apple didn't care about how expensive it is to train traditional AI models with on-screen data, the model would still have to live in the cloud. It would simply be too big to live on your phone. Most well-known models like ChatGPT are a terabyte more in size and grow in size with each release. They're not practical to have on your smartphone's hard drive. So in order to use these traditional AI models from a smartphone, an internet request is needed. Every single prompt you enter on your phone would have to be sent to the cloud for an answer. Let's go back to the Spotify example. Imagine asking a future AI Siri, play me the second to last song I played three days ago on Spotify. Then imagine the internet being a little bit slow and it taking five seconds for Suri to respond to your command. This would be a terrible experience for you, the end user. And after that bad experience, there's a good chance you'd stop using the AI assistant altogether. So there has to be a better way, right? Well, there is and it even outperforms ChatGPT. It's called Realm, which is a reference resolution as a language model. Instead of training a traditional LLM like GPT for months and months and hundreds of millions of dollars in compute time, Realm takes a much smaller and smarter approach to train its AI. It does this in a two-step process. First, Realm uses a language model. Notice I'm not using the words large in front of language model. It's small and used to summarize on-screen data into simple sentences. 
It then feeds those simple sentences into a larger language model in order to train it. So if your note-taking app had your to-do list of go grocery shopping, hit the gym to get buff, buy flowers for the wifey, Realm would first parse all of that image data into text and feed it to a larger model to train. This is not how traditional models like GPT-4 are trained. They are trained by getting batches and batches of data stuffed into them all at once. Meanwhile, Apple's Realm model stuffs data into its LLM into separate sequential steps called a pipeline. Training the data sequentially allows the on-screen training to be very accurate. Plus, it allows the resulting model, Realm in this case, to be much smaller in size compared to something like ChatGPT. And this is a huge deal. It potentially allows for the Realm model to be so small that it can fit onto an iPhone, thus eliminating latency altogether. The issue of an AI Siri replying to your requests with a five second delay would be completely gone because there's no need to make an internet request to the cloud with on-device AI. Anything you could ever wanna ask Siri would be answered in milliseconds all done with the logic right on your phone's hard drive. The benchmarks prove that as well. Apple's model realm beats ChatGPT in just about every reference test as seen here. And in some metrics like synthetic data, it blows OpenAI's chap out out of the water. So the next time that you hear Apple and Tim Cook are falling behind in the AI space, just remember, Apple is working on their own AI and it might be way better than any AI you've used to this point. We'll just have to wait and see. That's it for tonight. If you wanna learn more about Apple and AI, check out my other vid, Apple Siri Transformed. And if you found this video interesting, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and my free AI email newsletter at fry-ai.com forward slash subscribe. Have a great night. This is Ryan signing out. Take care.